This is Nima Shea, founder and CEO of Hummingbirds AI. Today, I'm going to walk you through Guacamole ID, how you can use the product and what are the systems and settings for using this application, which protects access to the computer through your face. As long as my face, the authorized person's face is in front of the computer, the access is granted. As soon as I leave, the screen is going to be blocked. As soon as I come back, I don't need to touch anything. The system sees my face and grants me access. You, so you have touchless logout, touchless login, without the need to entering your password or going through multi-factor authentication. So this is the most secure and convenient way to have access to your computers. So uh, in this demo, I'm going to show you how to use Guacamole ID and uh, what are the features, what, how to uh, do the setting and all sorts of the things that you might be uh, interested about Guacamole ID. So let me share my screen and show the application in action. So uh, Guacamole ID, once you install it, it uh, might be a sidebar uh, on the left-hand side, or you can find it in the system tray. This is the icon for Guacamole ID. So let me click on it and it will pop up on the sidebar. You can move the sidebar to any place that you are interested. Let me put it over here. Okay, so uh, the first button uh, is the pause button. So once you click on it, you can pause the application for a certain period of time from five minutes to eight hours. During that time, you can use your virtual camera for your Zoom calls or your Google Meet or Teams, uh, but the AI is paused. So basically it doesn't block the access when you leave the screen. Uh, so. For example, if you are working at pitch dark environment and um, there's not enough lighting to be able to see your face and you don't have any infrared cameras, then it's a good uh, um, use case for uh, pausing the application. Or let's say you are presenting something uh, in a conference room and you are not in front of the computer, you can pause the application. So. Once you click on any of these numbers, like five minutes, the clock starts for five minutes. And after five minutes, the system automatically comes back into play. So in order to unpause it, just click it one more time. And now the system is unpaused. The next button is shoulder surfing protection. What is shoulder surfing protection? Uh, so let's say I'm working in a coffee shop or uh, at the airport and um, I'm working on some sensitive information and there are always those uh, curious eyes that they want to see the content of your screen. So what it does is that once a person looks over your computer behind your shoulder, looking uh, into your screen for more than a few seconds, the screen would be temporarily blurred so that your information would be protected. And once they leave, the screen would be automatically unblurred. So this is like your third eye, the eye behind your back, making sure that that unauthorized person wouldn't see your sensitive information. If you click on it, the system, uh, the shoulder surfing system would just start uh, scanning around you to see if besides your face, if there is any unauthorized face in the scene. You can disable it if you are working in a trusted environment or uh, files that are not that sensitive. Uh, the next button is uh, the virtual camera. If you notice, uh, right now it's enabled because I'm in a Zoom call recording this session. And so I'm using the virtual camera, Guacamole ID's virtual camera, to be able to use the camera for recording myself. So if I disable it, what happens is that you don't see me because it's disabled. If I click on it one more time, it's enabled. So I can use my camera in the Zoom call. Uh, this uh, feature can be handy uh, in the times that uh, you don't want to be seen in a meeting, uh, but we made it automated. So you don't need to manually turn it on and turn it off, turn it off anytime that you go into a meeting. Uh, the system automatically takes care of uh, that enabling and disabling. The next feature is managing users. So if I click on that, uh, you see there is only one user, that is me. Uh, I don't delete myself because if I delete myself, then uh, who can be in front of the computer? I have to register my face again. 
but let me quickly show you how to add another person. So in this case, I'm going to re-register myself, Nima2. And this is the same uh, process that you went through once you installed the application and it asked you to register your face. So there are four corners, the blue corners, and you need to place your head between those uh, four corners and your nose on the blue dot. So let me get farther a little bit from the computer. And now my face is registered. So um, face registration, pretty simple. You just straight look into the computer and your face is registered. Uh, let's say you want to give access to a friend uh, and um, your um, significant other. The two of you are working on the same computer. So in that case, you can register uh, the other person with the same account of Guacamole ID. Uh, once you don't want that person to be having access to your computer, you just delete that person. And so that person cannot have access to your computer anymore. We also, for devices that have uh, infrared cameras, um, you would notice that there, uh, there is a blue button for registering the infrared camera. So that process would activate the infrared camera. And that in, in that case, I can register my face in the dark environment. So I re just registered my face um, using the infrared camera. And then uh, any time that it's in the, I'm in the low light environment, Guacamole ID application would rely on the infrared camera uh, to be able to recognize you. So for the devices that they don't have infrared camera, uh, you don't need to go through that process. And now the next uh, uh, button is the setting button. So uh, this is perhaps uh, the most uh, uh, comprehensive uh, part of the application that needs to be explained. Uh, so the parts that you would uh, uh, want to pay more attention, I, I'm going to go through them. Uh, the rest can be found in the manual uh, of the Guacamole ID application, which will be provided to you by the IT team. Uh, the system telemet software telemetry uh, sends data uh, to the IT team regarding the usage of the application. Uh, that information is about how many times uh, the system have been uh, logging in and logging out, basically blocking uh, the view. What was the source of that? Was it because of an intruder or was it because of uh, an inactivity? or if the person simply was not in front of the computer. Uh, there is a secure and private communication between your computer and the IT team. And we wouldn't have access to that knowledge. This is uh, basically protected by the privacy uh, policies of your company. On the camera tab, you are able to see which camera you want to use for Guacamole ID. Basically, if you have more than one camera, let's say you, one of the cameras is frontal to you and one of the cameras is side view, you choose the one that is frontal to you because that's the best way to see you uh, and grant you access from the perspective of the application. Basically, the biometrics are best seen when you have the frontal view. If you have infrared cameras, then uh, here you can enable the depth sensing camera, or if you want, you can disable it. So if you disable it, then the system relies on the RGB camera. If you enable it, then the system would be using a combination of RGB camera and infrared camera, depending on the context. If you have multiple infrared cameras, then here you can choose the option. Uh, but again, most of the most of us has maximum one infrared camera. On the security tab, you can choose 
the sensitivity of the application. On the very high, it would be very fast, the fastest way to have access to the computer. So as soon as I leave, the screen is blocked. As soon as I come back, the screen is unblocked almost instantaneously. On the high, it takes around 10 seconds to block the computer. And then if you are uh, interested into more convenience rather than security, you can choose moderate or low, which takes a couple of minutes to block the computer once you leave the computer. Anyway, the low option is, is even much better that the systems that every company or every individual is using now, which is the manual uh, access to the computer. And uh, so uh, there are uh, some uh, customizations. If you want to change, for example, the maximum level that you want to allow the system for um, increasing the brightness of the screen in the low light environment, you can uh, do that settings over here. And uh, there are some experimental features which we are uh, doing testing for uh, different clients to see what would be their optimal uh, numbers for uh, these levels of settings. We just released a new section and a new capability for the Guacamole ID application which can rely on the Bluetooth devices around you to detect those devices and see which ones um, are closer to you. And then you can use that device to basically tell the system that how far you are from the computer. In that case, the system would rely on a combination of your face as something that you are plus your Bluetooth device, which is something that you have in order to um, estimate how far you are from the computer. And especially in the low light environment to detect that you are not in front of the computer anymore. So blocking the computer. So this becomes a two factor authentication. One factor being your face and one factor being uh, what you have. So if I set, for example, my phone as the beacon, then my phone would be the device that the system would continuously monitor if it's close to the computer or not. And then once it goes farther from a certain distance, then that means that I'm far from the computer and the system would be blocked. And on the about section, uh, you can see what's the expiration of your license, when is that, and also what's the version um, of the application. So uh, if you see the mode is standalone, standalone means that uh, the application is running locally in the computer. And uh, other than the telemetry option, which I enabled it, no data is traveling outside. But if I'm working, uh, in a larger company and then different people might use different computers everywhere, every day. So we have a connected version. In the connected version, your biometrics would be extracted from one device and then broadcasted to the server of the company. And then from the server of the company, it would be broadcasted to all the endpoints, all the computers that the IT team would want to assign to you. Basically, that means that you can register your face in one computer and you can use any computer that the IT team assigns to you. You don't need to register your face in every individual computer. Let's say you are a doctor and um, on a day you might have access to five, 10 devices. And then tomorrow you might be in another uh, floor using some other devices. So it's very inconvenient to register your face in 100 computers. So with the connected version, you can register your face in one device, and then you can use all the 100 computers that the IT team assigns to your face. And uh, the system uh, now is uh, working with Windows computers. Uh, we support Windows 10 and Windows 11. 
So this is uh, pretty much the application. Uh, the way that you use this is very simple. At the beginning of the shift, you uh, do password or multi-factor authentication, the legacy system that you are using now. We don't touch them. So you continue being authenticated at the beginning of the shift through the legacy system. You enter your password, and then once you enter the password and went into your system, Guacamole ID takes over until you sign out at the end of the shift. During those eight hours, 10 hours, 20 hours, whatever amount of time that you are working, during that time, Guacamole ID protects the privacy of your data by making sure that your information would be always secure. And that smart screensaver will make sure that nobody else other than you can see your confidential data. Basically, you don't need to log out anymore and logging back again. Guacamole ID is taking care of that. Thank you for your time.